Hello everyone. Hopefully you had a great spring break. Even though you probably couldn't go anywhere, hopefully you still found something fun to do. Um, but welcome back to online school. Um, before spring break, we started our judging unit where you guys have been through um, that PowerPoint about animal judging. Um, hopefully you guys have watched that or looked at that PowerPoint. Um, I know most of you have filled out the notes and I appreciate that. Um, they're one of the main reasons why we talk about animal judging um, in an animal science class is because it's important to understand um, that each species has um, qualities that we're looking for in them so that we can, as producers, essentially make more money. Um, we really need to understand the merits that each species have so that we can produce more meat, more milk, um, etc. so that we can uh, farm a better product for the world and we can feed the world. So um, with what you've learned on the PowerPoint, we're actually going to go through some classes. Um, we'll probably do one in this video and then I might do a couple other videos this week um, of actual animals. Some of them will be videos, some of them will be pictures, um, but what we're going to do is I'm going to go through pictures um, and as you watch this video you can go ahead and when I, I'll spend some time on each um, view of the animal, but if you would like some more time you can go ahead and pause the video so that you can look at those animals. While you are watching this video that I'm filming right now, we are going to go through this class right here um, of market hogs, Duroc is the breed, which are the red looking hogs that have droopy ears. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and show you some photos of these market hogs and you are going to judge them and you're going to place them. So as you saw in the PowerPoint, there are going to be four animals and you're going to place them um, whichever one you feel like is on the top and then you'll have two in the middle and one on the bottom. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this. Here are our market hogs. Keep in mind this is a market class meaning we are looking at them to go immediately to slaughter. So you're going to look for muscle definition. Um, in hogs you're going to look for length. Um, if you hopefully fill out the notes, you know that there are definitely cuts of meat that you're going to want to pay attention to. For example, with hogs, um, you're going to want to look at this back end right here. That's where the ham comes from. That's a, a good cut of meat. That's on the higher end that you want to be well-defined and well-muscled so that you have enough meat there to sell. In through the middle here, this is where your bacon comes from. We all love bacon, so you want to make sure that's nice and deep. Um, you want to make sure that they're level over the top. Um, you don't want too much of a bend or a curve. Your pork chops come from up here along the spinal cord and then obviously you have your, your pork roasts come from mostly from the shoulder. There's a few that come from the back end but mostly from the shoulder. So those are some key areas that you want to pay attention to in swine. So this is the profile view of these Duroc um, market hogs. So you want to go ahead and look at all of those places that I just said on the hogs and start making some decisions on which you would place um, on top and middle and bottom. So here is the profile view. Um, again, if you need some extra time, I will come back to these photos, but if you want some extra time, you can pause this video. Here is the rear view. So for me personally, this is one of my favorite views, um, which sounds kind of funny because I'm looking at the rear view of the animal, but if you do look at the rear, you can tell a lot um, about the animal as far as um, the muscling, how much tone, and how much fat co covering that they have. You do want some fat covering in any livestock animal because the flavor that is found in meat actually comes from the fat. They actually call it marbling, which is the white stuff when you have a piece of meat, the white stuff that's in there. It's called marbling. We're going to get to that when we do our, our meats unit, which will probably be next. Um, anyway, but you so you do want some fat on them. You're looking for 
for in swine you're looking for width obviously um because width means more muscling which means more meat which means more money for the producer so you're gonna look through for width you're gonna actually look down here um at their structure as well uh, you kind of saw some examples that with in your powerpoint um with horses of what their structure should look like pigs are similar they should be straight up and down in their hawk um, they want to do wide set etc here's another view this is the top view of the hogs um, you can see some of them have you can almost see like a dimple right here but you can see where their spinal cord is they call that the butterfly of the hog and um, that you're know, looking for that because it shows that there is some good thick muscling over the top where those pork chops are which means gonna, there again is going to be more meat um, which means more money for the producer so you're going to be looking at that um, one other thing that I want you to look for in swine is the hourglass shape so you want thick shoulders and then come a little bit thinner down here through the middle and then thick through the rear so those are, so, those are some things you're going to be looking for um, in the, the swine here's a profile picture again Remember, you're looking for muscle definition in those meat areas, the ham, the shoulder, over the top, where the pork chops are, etc. Again, if you need to spend some more time, go ahead and hit pause. Here's the rear view. You want them nice and wide. You want them standing wide, um, really filled out in their back end because that's where the ham comes from. You like a big ham, more meat last have the top of the hogs look for the hourglass shape thick shoulders thick through the ham and long okay if you have not already go ahead and make your placing um write it down on a piece of paper um Maybe that'll help you with your thoughts, things like that. But go ahead and write down your placing. I'm actually going to show you the placing in this class so that we can go through why they are placed the way they are. Um, but I want to make sure that you get your placing before I reveal what the judge, how the judges placed these particular hogs. So go ahead and do that right now. If you need to pause the video, please do. All right, here we go. So they placed these hogs right here, you can see placings, four, one, two, three. So this hog was top, and then number one was next, two, and then three was our bottom hog. Now, <clears throat> as I scroll down here, I'm not going to make you read all of this, but this is their oral reason. So this right here is what justifies why they placed them the way they did. Um, and right here, there's this thing called cuts. And what that means is you have, so between number four and number one right here, there's a cut of three. So they were, they were similar. So if you switch those two, you would just get minus three points. Now the middle pair um, between one and two was a pretty big cut. Seven's pretty big. Usually um, you don't get much higher than eight. Sometimes they go all the way to ten. But seven is a pretty big cut. So four and one were very similar. Two and three were very similar. And there was a very distinct um, difference between the top two and the bottom two. So that's the cut in between one and two. And then this two between two and three is our bottom cut. So if you switched these two, um, you wouldn't get docked very much. You'd only get docked two points. Now, when you are livestock judging, um, it's out of 50 points. So these are the um, numbers that you will miss if you don't have it placed the way the judges felt like they needed to. So I actually agree with the official placing in this class and I'm going to tell you some of the reasons why. So if I was giving oral reasons, these would be some of the reasons that I would say. So no, number four was our top pig and I agree with that. Um, if you look four and one were our top pair. Both of them have a very well-developed ham. 
Um, there you can tell there's a lot of muscling right there. There's a lot of meat right there. Same thing with their shoulder. You can see that muscling through there. If you look at number two, this particular hog just does not have the same amount of definition as these top two. You can tell that it has meat, but it's just not as well toned um, as the other two. Now, number three, let me just double check I'm right. Yep, number three was the last. And here's the reason why I would put this pig last, just based off of these pictures, is just the amount of muscle that's, that's not there. It's just very thin. Um, if you look through here, you can see some of those muscle, muscle definition, but it's just does not have the amount of muscling that the rest of the hogs do in this class. This, again, like I said, this is my favorite view because it tells me a lot. If you look at number four, you see how wide that ham is. This is this particular angle is what helped me place four on top. Um, same thing with one. You can see it's got nice width. Two and three. Two has some good width, but you can tell that it's not quite as well defined. Um, you can tell right here, you see how this is nice and round. Um, that tells me that there's a lot of meat there. This number two hog just does not have that amount of meat. Same thing with number three, especially the lack of width in number three. She's just very narrow, does not have enough um, meat on her bones to be anywhere but on the bottom in this class. And then last, this is the top view of the hogs. Um, number four, pay attention to the ham again, is, is wide, she stands wide. You can see that she has that dimple along her spine, which means she has a nice butterfly effect right here. Same thing with number one, but number four has just a little bit more for me that these two are very similar. Um, but as you look at number two, it's, this particular hog just lacks the definition of really any of these hogs. Um, and number three is just skinnier, does not have the same amount of muscling. Here's the class again. Um, now, I, one other thing that I wanted to say between four and one, I liked four a little bit better because he's deeper. Um, if you look from top to bottom right here, um, this is where your bacon comes from, which is actually becoming quite an expensive cut of meat. So you want that to be nice and deep um, so you can have more bacon. I hope you guys um, learned something from this video. Um, I'm going to do a couple other videos. We'll probably do a market beef class and a market lamb class. We can talk about some of the things you should be looking for. And then at the end of this unit, we're going to have a little project where we all come up with something, um, some class of, of something or other that we can all judge. And I will get you a little bit more details on that. Um, but for now, we're just going to go through a couple of classes so you guys understand how the livestock judging works. Again, this is important so that as producers, we can make more money um, and produce more for the people um, to buy and eat so that we can sustain the life that's on this planet right now. Um, I want you guys to know that I miss you, that this online school has been difficult for all of us. Um, you're all troopers, and I'm grateful for those who are trying really hard and doing their homework. I appreciate that. I know it's kind of difficult and interesting, but if you have any questions, feel free to talk to me. Just email me, message me on Canvas, however you want to get a hold of me. Um, I'm here to answer your questions. I miss having you guys in class. Um, Maybe someday we'll be able to have class again. I hope so. Someday soon. Okay, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. But that's it for this video.